Power to the Truth. This is Margot. This is Thursday, December 6th, 2018. And this is just going to be a short update on methane. And uh, CAMS has their data out through Wednesday now, which was yesterday. It just came out. And um, I wanted to show you that this methane release is increasing in the Arctic. They actually have data back to Sunday, but I want to show you starting with today on the global view, first of all. This is the actual data, but this is so disturbing. When we run this movie, we can see this huge release of methane. This is at surface level from the Earth and then over from the Arctic Ocean and it just spreads out and it's dark red and into the dark brown color which according to this page on Copernicus website is 75,600 parts per billion is this dark brown reading and the red the brick red is 2040 so it's probably somewhere in between that um, but it's bad I mean I've not seen it this bad ever and it just looks like the earth is bleeding and um, you know we have high methane being released f over from North America from S South America from parts of Africa it looks like all of Europe Russia Siberia is off the charts and then India in this area is covered up in it and China and um, you can't even see the Indian Ocean there because the methane is just it's it's blowing me away but um this is dire and I really am appalled that the people who normally report on the um methane and the climate science and stuff like that they're totally silent and so I'm you know it's up to me and Robin Westenra and he's doing the best he can with making little tiny short videos and and then doing his blog posts and we're both posting on Facebook as fast and furiously as we can when this new information comes out but it's it's just amazing to me that the other people in the climate science community are not picking up on this and the only thing I can think of is that they are in shock and really don't know what to say or they want to keep their jobs and their funding source and that's why they're not reporting because we've been asking people to report and they're not so I come to you as a citizen self reporter self observer self taught how to read these things and um, you know I don't have a science degree I have a master's degree in music and I've got a scientific mind and I'm empathic what can I say and I'm the only one bringing this to you right here tonight so here we are on cams I have the base time set to Sunday so this is actual data through Wednesday this is the North Pole with the surface level and so it's uh, then it's uh, this is actual data where we can see the methane release over the North Pole <clears throat> where it's into the dark brown and I call it black but it's dark brown <clears throat> and then the forecast period is Thursday <clears throat> 
I wasn't going to do a video today. I got so worn out yesterday with my live stream. It really takes it out of me to do these. And then all the editing and posting and everything. And I'm a, a one woman team over here. And um, But when I saw this I had to bring it to you. And we have it coming up out of the Atlantic Ocean and it's all black through the United States and I mean it's it's disturbing it's it's disturbing and this is winter the sea ice is melting it's not coming back I showed uh, I did that little short video yesterday and put it up where the sea ice is melting and it's not good. We're in big trouble and it's I think things are coming down fast. Okay now what I have is um, the Arctic view and the base time is Wednesday so the data starts at Wednesday and then Thursday and then it goes into the forecast period for Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So this is how they expect this methane to release according to the computer models from the data that's been gathered from all these different sites. So you can see it's the worst that we've ever seen it and I do believe we're in a methane event <coughs> and um, we weren't expecting this in the middle of winter up there with it cold and everything and you know we think oh the sea ice is going to hold it back but it's not it's not going to hold it back because it's going to come up through those cracks and, and the sea ice is not solid it's got cracks in it and it's it's mushy and slushy and not very thick and, and it's melting and um, I'm sorry it's it's the news I have and this is I try and bring it to you as soon as I get it if I'm able to look at poor India and China and um, the Indian Ocean it's just covered up in it it's just it's unbelievable it's really unbelievable to me and if you go back and look at some of my older videos, you can see that the um, like the background color up here now is this orangey color, which is about 1960 parts per billion, and into the brick um, like the orange orange, it's 1980. If you go back and look at some of my older videos, it's a much lower b background up here in the Arctic. Um, most of it is green in my older videos. And I even have videos where it was blue in the background. And I've, I've just started doing this in April. Uh, I have... Um, climate reanalyzer let's see I've been saving these pictures uh, I've decided to start saving these pictures on a daily basis too so that we can refer back to the two meter temperature anomaly and this is helpful for us to see the release of the methane where it's much warmer than it normally would be and when it gets up into the red zone that's 20 degrees Celsius higher than it would normally be and then the brown is around 10 and so forth so this is from Tuesday December 4th and we can see it red all up here and here's from the 5th and it's even more red here's the 6th from today and see the red is even spreading out and it's even red in Alaska 
and Climate Reanalyzer has already put up their data for tomorrow and I've downloaded it and we can see it's even spread out more. It looks like a big mask. So there's that. So um, I'm also going to show you the um, at 500 HPA a lot of the reporters like to use that level that's more of a column level that's higher up in the atmosphere and um, starting for Wednesday and um, that's about 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere so that we can get an idea of how the methane is um, collecting up there and what we're how it's collecting because that's going to be holding the heat in as the methane collects it holds the heat in so that it causes all kinds of problems and with with the heat being held in it also causes um, the more uh, more moisture in the air more moisture in the atmosphere so that we can have a hugely extreme weather and it messes up the jet stream and lots of extreme weather and lots of of moisture and like these atmospheric rivers and and you know incredible snowfalls and things like that and then the drought and it messes up the jet stream like I said so we can have drought in areas where we normally wouldn't and and then extreme rainfall with flooding and you know things like that but even high up in the atmosphere we can see that even though the methane is spreading out it's in very high levels it's in it's all in the the red and orange so it's up into the um i mean the numbers overlap so i don't even know what the numbers are supposed to be i just go by the the colors and if it's the co highest color on the chart you know you're in trouble that's what I go by so there it is in the forecast period for above the Arctic well this is a whole northern hemisphere and you can see it going around that's it 500 HPA or about 18,000 feet and then I want to show that on the global view too we'll go to 500 oh yeah look at that so you can see the blue down here in the southern hemisphere and there's a definite okay the reading here it's 75,600 is the highest reading here that's let me reload this page and it'll load up faster So you can see there's a definite demarcation. It's actually below the equator. The equator runs about through here. So it's lower than the equator where you can start seeing the demarcation from the blue to the green, which m means it's going up in methane readings 
and then once it gets into the yellow and the orange it's already up into um, uh, close to well it's high the high 1800 parts per billion and then 1900 starts at about the gold and red 18, 9, yeah, the gold, like this color, starts 1900 parts per billion. So this is at 500 HPA, and you can see that black, I call it black, dark brown, is well dispersed through these higher levels as well. So that's going to, that's the high levels of methane that's going to be holding in the heat. And um, we're in big trouble. So this is just a little short update for everybody. And I'm going to keep bringing you updates as, as more data comes in because I'm the only one doing this and Robin but I'm the only one you know doing it this way with the videos and and um, all of that to bring it to you so I'll keep reporting so this is Margo the scientific empath and um I love everyone. I think time is short and it's time to get right with God and Jesus and get your spiritual houses in order. And until next time, go in peace and God bless everyone. Goodbye.